LA had the premiere for The New Empire last night. And before I share the first batch of the critic reviews, we need to make something clear. This movie is not Godzilla minus one. But if you're coming to check out this movie for the kaiju action, looking for the movie your inner child always wanted, then you're gonna have a fantastic time. Godzilla X Kong is a noisy titan brawl with hardly any human heart to engage us on an emotional level. While audiences coming for the fights alone are getting a supreme awesome tag team match between Godzilla and Kong versus the Scar King and Shimu. Godzilla X Kong is an atomic blast, a fantastically weird psychedelic trip through the Showa era with all the vibrance of an 80s album cover. This thing is absurdist, rumped, crimson apes, frost dragons, a delightfully absurd Dan Stevens, another fun entry in the MonsterVerse. Godzilla X Kong is a momentous spectacle that dazzles with its vibrant technical visuals. The epic battles between the titans are jaw-dropping and are accompanied by a story with gargantuan heart. Plus there's Dan Stevens flexing in a Hawaiian shirt for two hours. Godzilla X Kong The New Empire is underwhelming. It feels like 90% set up for a final battle that's solid but can't live up to all that build up. There is a fresh approach to the characters which works but it never quite gels with the main story. Dan Stevens does rip though. Godzilla X Kong hits plenty of sweet spots for me. Tons of wild kaiju action, a brutal villain for Kong, a power up Godzilla Dan Stevens having a blast, some legit surprises, and so many colors. Bring me more MonsterVerse. Godzilla X Kong The New Empire is the most enjoyable MonsterVerse movie yet. The one where it feels everybody understood the assignment. Story is a bit thin, but the Titan is smashing more than makes up for it. Godzilla X Kong The New Empire rules. Dr. Adam Wingard fully embraces the tone of a fantastic rock opera complete with a Sith, heavy score, heavy metal visuals, and killer 80s needle drops. Incredibly silly and heartfelt at times, it's a sincere love letter to the Showa era. Godzilla X Kong is a non-stop fun kaiju action that fans of monster movies love. Both Godzilla and Kong take center stage in this latest entry in the legendary evolving monsterverse. Brian Tyree Henry and Dan Stevens are fun together, but this movie belongs to the giant monsters. Godzilla X Kong is an absurdly fun ride, a teaming of titans with tremendous scale and a fast-paced adventure. This movie knows to deliver pure fun on a huge scale. My advice, just strap in and enjoy the ride. Godzilla X Kong is a really great King Kong movie. The human stuff is notably clunky, poor Rebecca Hall saddled with so much dry exposition. But Kong has so many scenes centered on him and I just love the big guy. And the final fight sequences are pure monster mayhem delight. Godzilla X Kong was more fun than I expected. He was happy to see Kong get more respect. It was nice to see more monsters and less annoying humans. The battles were cool but corny, and the science got a little too nerdy. Felt like Christopher Nolan and the WWE made a monster movie. Godzilla X Kong The New Empire wasn't able to hit as hard as the first film. Fight scenes were not as exciting, human plot lines even worse and uninteresting. Not a terrible movie, but a downgrade. Final act was fun though. Well, there you have it. I don't know about you, but I'm pumped. My hopes have gone back up. I already have my ticket for the first showing on Thursday. I'm super excited. I think this is great news. Again, just a different movie from Godzilla Minus One, but pure kaiju action. Like always, thank you for the support and thank you for watching.